Hello and welcome to Merlin's Brick News, the weekly show on all things brick building where we talk about set updates and announcements from all the major brands, mocks of the week, new LEGO ideas entries and general industry news from time to time as well. Information is presented as always by setdb.org, the best source for set information on the internet. Let's get started. We have only very few news from Bluebricks this week. Uh, Quantum Colony, another set is available, the heavy duty transporter Juggernaut, the 105174 for the 968 pieces. A Bluebricks is asking for 50 euros over here in Europe. That as always includes tax. Um, the series is not complete yet, but um, um, what is also available now is the Quantum Colony Control Center, the 105179. That is, I think, the largest set of the series for this, uh, what is it called, Hard Fantasy, I think. 2,303 pieces and Blue Bricks is asking for 120 euros, 5.2 cents a piece. I have, no, I haven't actually talked about these before. Um, they have been in announcement like forever. I think I first reported um, back over on my German podcast, the English one didn't exist back in the day. I think it was February last year. So these things have been announced like forever. But here we go. Now you have the base. There is a few more it, um, additions, add-ons for this. I guess I can report about this one next week. Um, for actually to get a pretty large base out of it. Um, there they have a Starfighter, I think it's called Race or something like that, um, and a couple of vehicles and transport. So um, I think they have also done like a Mars base series a couple of years ago. So I think that's actually an area that is very well covered um, by Blue Bricks. They have also done a couple of, I would call them rather knockoffs because they don't have a license around, for instance, Alien, the movies. Um, they have a couple of ships, so I think if that is your your cup of tea, this kind of style, Blue Bricks got you covered. There's actually quite a lot of stuff, um, and on over on Blue Bricks, it's under the science fiction brand. Of course, they have all the Star Trek stuff in there. So if we get through these, and then you can see they have actually uh, quite a lot of sets um, in this series. Um, and there is even plans for having the spaceship Meteor. <laughs> Actually, they, this is a pretty old set. Uh, it's currently not available, but this is what I was referring to, the main uh, Mars space. So if you look at the numbers, so this stuff is pretty old, but I think yeah, it should still work quite well together with the new Quantum Colony sets. Then let's move on to Akeda. Akeda has done an announcement of an AP supercar. However, it's not even listed yet in their own store. I think this is like um, in the same ballpark as the LP700. So we are now talking about the 63005. Uh, the predecessor has been the 63004. Um, and that one, I think, just to get a reference for pricing, um, Kada itself is asking for the static version for $90 US. And um, however, you can also get them from shops like around $70. So that's what I assume the 63005, the AP supercar will be um, this area, it will be as well. Besides that, we do know it has 1,823 pieces. It's scale one by 10 Technic sets. You can motorize it typically, at, or typically it's usually always the case with Kada. You have like, they ship it in two different versions. You can get it in a static and an RC version. Actually the manuals, um, um, are designed in a way that you always build the static version first and then you kind of retrofit um, the electrics. That's how most of these sets are where, where the electrics are optional, which I think it's like an 80% of the Technic sets. Anyhow, let's move on to Forange. And here we have actually a couple of availabilities over here in Europe. I think it has been available in China for quite a while. Um, but here we have first the Forange Beauty Store, the FC8508. And now um, it's listed here in Central Europe um, for uh, 25 euros. Um, that is 4.6 cents a piece for 539 pieces. Audi is only slightly more expensive than the cheapest offer I've seen in China. So I guess that's quite a bargain. It is a small modular building in quote. I mean, I think we shouldn't call it a modular. It's a, it's a building. It has a light brick in it. And yeah, for those fans, of, for those of you who are fans of these small buildings, like we have them, them now from Keyplay, Farang is, is doing them. Uh, Kada has been doing them with the Exe Sandbox designs. So um, I think there's quite a lot of variety um, for, let's say, a more realistic looks. So not like Legos three-in-one creator, but 
um, actually a bit more uh, realistic look, but small buildings nevertheless. And then um, similar situation for a sailing ship White Swan. This thing, the FC6006, is now available in Europe as well, 1,672 pieces. Uh, and again, it's Blue Bricks is the shop here. They list it for 60 euros. That's actually a pretty good price. And and always keep in mind that with European shops, that usually means including pa original packaging, while Chinese shops usually due to shipping costs remove those. So I think that's quite a bar bargain, 60 euros, 3.6 cents a piece. To my knowledge, um, I've been told at least by folks, I think we've already built them, them that all the prints here on the side are actually pet printed, not stickers. And it's, yeah, it's quite a beautiful um, cloth sail. So, I mean, it's a 66 centimeter long ship. It's 41 and a half in height. So that's not a small thing. Um, I guess that's, yeah, like I said, quite a bargain. Let's move on to Yaki. I think I have never talked about those before. Anyhow, we also, we have here a couple of availabilities of the flower collection. Um, Plante, I think they call this series. However, um, I haven't even seen this set yet in, in China, so that's quite interesting. We don't have this that often, and we are talking about the Phalaenopsis. It's Latin, right? I can pronounce it any way I want. Anyway, it's a red orchid. Um, we're talking about the 2901, 581 pieces, and over here in Europe, that's 4.3 cents a piece for 25 euros, and again, that includes tax. And then we have um, two dog sets, again, availabilities here in Europe. I think they call this series Makeup Pop, which is a pretty hilarious name. Anyhow, uh, let's move on. Um, they are available now. We are talking about the 8130, 322 pieces for two dogs. So they're not that big, right? I think one of them, the larger one is 12 and a half centimeters in height, the smaller one, nine centimeters, and you pay 16 euros. That's five cents a piece. I hear only good things about Yaki. However, I haven't built them yet, so I actually don't know. And then we have the Poodle and the Bulldog. We are talking about the 8131, 273 pieces for 15 euros. That's five and a half cents a piece. A bit smaller, those two. I mean, no, I mean, similar. 12 and a half centimeters for the Poodle and the Bulldog is 70 millimeters in height and it has a hilarious shirt on. It's almost like Superman. Pretty cool, small dog, big shirt. Is great. Anyhow, let's move on to Lego. And here we have a couple of announcements um, for the February release of the Brick Hats. First of all, the Disney 100 year celebration set. We're talking about the 40622, 501 pieces, four Brick Hats. Lego is asking in typical Brick Hat pricing fashion for uh, uh, 40 euros, that's eight cents a piece. And we're talking about Oswald, the Lucky Rabbit, Mickey, of course, Snow White, and Tinkerbell. And Tinkerbell even comes with two um, extra prints on these, um, what is that, Lime um, Nexonite shields. And then um, also Snow White has one print on the torso. Um, next to that is just a typical brickhead eye. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. And they're not the biggest brickheads as far as I can tell. I'm not, I'm not sure. They look a bit tiny on this picture, but I think they are almost like regular size. Love the ears of Mickey, by the way. Um, I guess it's typical brickhead pricing, nothing special. Anyhow, it's 100 years of Walt Disney, or Disney, I should rather say. Um, not the guy, but the company, so that's great. And then there is uh, the Lego Bird's Nest, the 40639. I think that is a creator set. That's not a gift with purchase. Uh, it has 232 pieces, and Lego wants to ask for $13. It's February 1st, five and a half cents a piece. And I must say, these are Beautiful birds, aren't they? I mean, very col colorful set, but I do like uh, do like the design. I must say, it's quite yeah. I think it's one of those small sets that could be a good present, but also for yourself, right? It's it's like it it casts a smile in your face, and I think I like it for that. And then we have the two new uh, icons flower sets. One is called the Dried Flower Centerpiece, the 10314, 812 pieces, uh, also going to be released February 1st. Uh, Lego wants to ask for $50 US, that's 6.2 cents a piece. And I must say, what I really like is like, again, I mean, that it's just so much fun. I mean, I'd say I'm not a big fan of these flower sets. However, the building techniques behind it, 
And of course, all the new mold color combinations that Lego usually has to do to manage to do all these different colors and flowers is just breathtaking sometimes. And if you look in here, for instance, I mean, look at all these um, olive green pieces, including the olive green trees. I think that is new, right? And, and, and there are several interesting pieces in here, all these... I mean, it's it's just amazing what the designers are doing. Also, the flower thing that I, I'm, I'm currently have my mouse pointer on on the right. Hard to describe, by the way, for you podcast folks. I, my apologies. Just just look at the pictures. There are interesting pieces in there in interesting colors. I think we even have, again, palm leaves here in olive green. This has been a super rare piece um, until very recently. I think it was in a gift with purchase in the idea sky living on a, on a beach thingy. Until then, we haven't seen these um, olive green palm leaves like for, for years. So yeah, this is for, for me personally, again, not a big fan of these flower idea, but I do really like all the interesting building techniques and uh, the mold color combinations that we're going to see. You can combine three of these. I mean, they are not cheap, but if you have the money and the budget and need a big flower bouquet, I guess, then you can combine three of these. Um, and... Uh, Something that I started to see, I think, last year, but um, very rarely, actually, it's one of those icon slash 18 plus sets where you have the logo on the side by means, okay, you can build this with two people together, um, which I think you can do with a lot of Lego sets, um, but sometimes they put the button on and sometimes not. And then we have um, a more lively thing, the white flower bouquet, the 10313, 939 pieces, also going to be released February 1st, and it has or it's going to cost $60 US, that's 6.4 cents a piece. So this one is a lot more colorful. Um, no new, very interesting piece, color combination comes to mind here. I think, I'm not sure if I've seen the brick head piece before in this light blue tone, and also the, the flower center piece in purple. So there are a couple of interesting color combinations as well. I don't know if the folks over from New Elementary have already, to, uh, you know, taken a, a look at it, but I think, yeah, I'm really looking forward to people investigating a bit more, or we have to wait until we have the brick link listing, but I think there are also a couple of interesting new uh, pieces in there. All right, with that, we already done with Lego. I mean, Lego has been very busy, you know, with, with all the November, January 1st releases, but... Um, here we go. That was Lego. I should mention that I'm not going through all the availabilities January 1st because like a, a bazillion, but um, it has been a lot. So we were just focusing on new releases today, but I guess all of you are already quite aware what Lego has brought to market. Anyhow, uh, speaking of brought to market, a um, couple of Morg sets. So the Morg Flower Shep is now also available over in Europe. 31061, 1,593 pieces. And over here in Europe, you pay around 50 euros. That's 3.1 cents a piece. And again, this is one of those smaller buildings that actually go very well together. Also with the Faranga sets. Um, like I said, Mork is one of the other companies like Keda and Keyplay doing these small buildings. Actually, the Keyplay ones are even smaller. So these are, and also the um, both the Keyplay and the Keda ones are, are slightly smaller than these. Um, and then we have the Coffee Home, again, available. has been in, available in China for quite a while, but now also in Europe as 31062, 1,512 pieces. And over here in Europe, best price is currently 50 euros, 3.3 cents a piece. With that, we are moving on to fantasy, and here we have a, an, again a typical fantasy announcement. I'm so excited on this one. Actually, I think it's already on its way on my desk. Uh, we'll take a bit more, but it's the, called the Paladin 90s PC game, and actually, it's actually an entire PC. We are talking about the 86230. It is actually quite a small set. It looks, I think, on the pictures a lot bigger than it actually is, similar to the iGame uh, PC that they have done, which is also an amazing set, by the way. Um, and here we go. It's an entire PC. They're asking, however, for $170, so it's not cheap. However, Pantasy, that means usually pretty good pieces, pretty good overall package and everything, plus, of course, like a, a million 
uh, pet printed pieces here and yeah it's quite amazing of course also minifigures minifigures that are very close to the lego ones so actually that's um yeah i would be careful with those at least bringing these into europe could be a bit challenging but nevertheless uh, quite a nice set with a lot of computer gaming scenes um, in the monitor in the pc itself it's so fantasy, right? For me, that is, it's it's just amazing, um, the creativity in their sets and uh, all the niches they're willing to move into. It's it's quite astonishing. Really looking forward to this one. And then we have a couple of availabilities in Europe again, especially out of the Flower House. Uh, no, sorry, the, the series called The Magical Jungle. And it's, it's a series of, I also think, beautiful sets, uh, play sets I would, I guess they are, and there we have now availabilities over here in Europe of the Flower House, the 15005. Again, it has these minifigures, but Blue Bricks, it seems, is not... I think they have kind of agreement with LEGO, I think, over here. Um, but anyhow, um, we are talking about the Flower House, the 15005, 746 pieces, and over here in Europe, that is 50 euros. And then we have, uh, that was the Flower House, the Flower Bosch uh, Paradise, uh, the 15004, 430 pieces, again available over here in Europe for 25 euros. That's 5.8 cents a piece. And I really like these. I mean, they are just, ah, they are so nice looking. Anyhow, the third one is Rescue the Girl, the 1502, 259 pieces. And in Europe, you can get this thing now for 25 euros. So a couple of interesting availabilities from Fantasy. Really like the series. Let's see, maybe um, at least over here in Germany, um, in our German site, um, where we also do reviews of these sets, I do hope. Maybe we can get these as well. Would we like to have these on the site? Let's see what we can do. Anyhow, let's move on to Rare Bricks. The Bucket Wheel Excavator is now available in China. 3,188 pieces. Um, that is part of the Technic series of Rare Bricks. Um, they call this the Mechanica series, I think. Uh, the 22017. And yeah, it's $185 US, so that's not cheap, but it's an RC version. It has more than 3,000 pieces. So um, I haven't never built rail bricks Technic myself. I've heard from, from folks, but yeah, I can't, can't say firsthand. Um, I think it is, I, I'm not sure if I like the color scheme, I must say. <laughs> it's a bit like, um, yeah, it's very colorful. I don't know which area of the world um, excavators look like this, at least over here in Germany. Usually they are, um, I think in, in, in Brickling color scheme, they would be more like dark bluish gray. Um, but hey, if if a colorful one is your cup of tea, here you go. And I think it could be quite a lot of fun um, driving around with these. I think Mold King has done a similar one. Um, but yeah, here you go. Let's move on to Wange. Here we also have availabilities in Europe. And actually, again, the only shops I've seen these are actually in Europe. And none of my Chinese partners has them. But here we go. The Wange Customs House from Shanghai, China, the 6231. Is now available in Europe as well for the 1,243 pieces. You pay 70 euros over here. That's 5.6 cents a piece. And then we have um, another one, uh, the Santorini, that is in Greece. Actually, that's um, several islands, isn't it? Or it's just one island? I'm, I'm not Isla de Santorin. I guess it's just one island. Anyhow, never been there. Uh, 6,000, uh, we're talking about the 6230, 1,372 pieces, 70 euros over here, 5 for 1 cents a piece. I guess that set screams vacation and holiday more than anything else. <laughs> Mediterranean um, flavor, I think, comes across. So yeah, here you go. If you can't afford vacation, maybe that, thing, uh, that set is for you as well. With that, we are done with product, product updates this week. So let's move on to a mocks of the week. And here we, the first one that I've picked, um, by the way, if you're not familiar with, with my podcast series in this section, I usually pick like three, four, five, six mocks um, that have been released within the last couple of days, usually a week. That's the scope I'm, I'm looking at on Rebrickable. And here we have now the first one is the Supremacy that is from uh, Brett's Diorama Collection. He has done a lot of these and I think he's kind of the master of these on on um, 
Unrebrickable. And um, I think he has decided a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, I think it's not that long time ago, and he, I think he published something on his Instagram channel that from now on he would do a lot more free marks. But, I mean, even his old designs, he's selling ridiculously cheap. I think some something like for a diorama, like two bucks, which is almost nothing. And this one he's giving away for free. I have actually like four or five of his designs here on the shelf big fan of his diorama collection. I can um, only recommend taking a look at these. Anyhow, this one is actually, I think, the first time that he's doing something from Star Wars Battlefront. And yeah, he has a new diorama. I think if you're looking for a new home for your freshly bought 501st Clone Troopers, this is the way to go. I um, really like the roofs, by the way. This two-third um, one-by-one slopes are really, I mean, in this in this colors, I guess that is sand green and what is the other one, like aqua or something like that, uh, looks really beautiful. Um, all in all, I'm, I'm really, I think this is snot technique here, was he, what he's using on the floor. Really like this one, um, a real beauty, but it has 1,376 pieces. That is um, actually quite a number to, to collect. Anyhow, um, the menu is for free so please go ahead and then by the way um all the sets i'm talking about but also all the marks i'm talking about are linked down below in the video description or in the podcast show notes so let's move on to the sloop of war the hms challenger by boeing 7878 dreamliner which is an amazing name i always thought that is an airplane but here you go um that's um design has 3233 pieces and the designer is asking for nine euros and it is a beauty i must say very well done sailing ship i mean look at this picture um all the um all the sails and everything i guess all these you know, like lines and everything that you have to bring up here um is is kind of is i think going to be a tough one to to put this thing together but all in all the the two masts and everything is done very well it looks very accurate i mean just look how the cannons are bricked um, so I'm really a big fan. I'm not sure if I like the yellow coloring though. However, I mean, if you download the XML file with all the pieces, you could just replace the yellow ones with another color, right? If you want to go more for like a dark blue or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, it, it looks beautiful. I mean, it, it's, don't get me wrong. I'm just not sure if I would go for yellow. Anyhow, let's move on to another ship, which is a completely different animal. So this one is like an alternate build. I mean, technically this one by Hahaman in the dark, which is a great name as well. Two 2,405 pieces and he's asking for $13 US. Basically what has been done is combined two times the 31109. I mean, that, I guess that's, I mean, when I got my first pirate ship from Lego, like in the, what, what, what was it, like late 80s, early 90s, um, that was always my dream, right? Let's make it bigger. I never had the right pieces and the right color, so I made it bigger, but with, you know, typical colorful stuff that kids do. But I guess that is a dream come true. You just combine two pirate ships. You also throw in the Pirates and Treasure VIP add-on pack that has been delivered by Lego, I think, pretty recently. And then you got a much cooler three-mast uh, private ship. Really like this design, amazingly done. However, throwing in this set two times is for sure not cheap, but I think it's all worth it. With that, we are moving to something completely different, but I was so excited to see this. A Warhammer and 40k Brickhead. Yes, here we go. A Plague Marine in this case has been um, contributed by Bob the Mad Cow. <laughs> 176 pieces and the... Um, Manual is free of charge. That is not entirely true. It's technically not a manual. I think it's a studio IO file. It's not um, a PDF manual. But nevertheless, it is a great idea. Awesome that he's uploaded these. And as you can see, he has done a lot of Warhammer stuff, like a lot of briquettes, different chapters. Um, there is there's a Warhammer 40k tank. Um, I think that is really great news. Would love to see more Warhammer in the in the brick space. Anyhow, with that, we are coming to a uh, contribution by Yellow LXF, which I also really like. By the way, also a great account to take a look at. I mean, look at all these train wagons. I think I've talked about this, these designs before. It's so amazing, and it's also a very busy design. I mean, look at it. Um, and he has also, oh, he or she, I actually don't know, um, has also uploaded a couple of trucks now. I think before that, it was more like like trucks itself and a lot of train wagons but now a couple of uh, new trucks now 
And this one I just picked out is the Ala Food Stuff 95XF. Actually, don't know what this is. I mean, it's a Duff, but um, never, next to that, not one percent sure if I um, because I don't know much about trucks, so to say. Nevertheless, it is like an eight stud, or it's more like a ten stud wide truck. So I guess you will be in trouble a bit on regular Lego streets, but um, it's just very well done. Obviously, you need a couple of prints to make this thing really complete. But if you're willing to do that, I think you have an amazing design here. And it's $7. And I think you also can buy them, several of them together in a package as well, in a package deal. Actually, a lot more expensive for my person taste, a bit too expensive, is this one Lego Mock by Jacob. Um, he has done, or she has done, um, a medieval town center, 4,745 pieces, and it looks amazing. It looks exactly how I think my personal opinion, a castle set should look like in 1922 or 20, uh, 2023. Um, I think this is exactly what I wanted with the Lion Knight's castle. Um, because I think from my point of view, the Lego team went a bit too simplistic on this one. And I think this here, also the kind of what was the techniques that were used for the walls. I mean, it's still not all over the place, right? It's still not. I mean, there are much more detailed mocks out there. Um, I think it's just a good, let's say, combination between, let's say, modern mock designs and, uh, let's say, traditional, simplistic Lego designs, castle designs. And I think that one here is exactly the kind of level of of detail and interesting snot techniques, etc., um, and also richness of the design that I would like to see in uh, nowadays. So that is also what I, why I wanted to point out this set. And... Um, However, it is $50 US. That's actually quite a lot, a lot more what other people are asking for. And then uh, let's move on to another interesting design, uh, the Fountain of Fair Fortune and Potion Shop by JD Bricks. It has 1,672 pieces, um, $12 is JD Bricks asking for, and it's an extension of the 75878 uh, the Diagon Alley. And yeah, I really like this one as well. Um, I think like what I really like, especially if you look into this corner piece, that it has a lot of depths. And I think if it has so much depths, then I'm totally fine with an open building like this. It's like the previous design, the medieval town. I think Lego very often when they do this kind of design, they only go like four studs deep, like with many of their toy sets, Harry Potter, um, um, especially they do this a lot, only four starts, maybe six starts. And that I think is too shallow from my personal point of view. But if you go deep as this, I think it's really helping your imagination to go even deeper, like in your mind, right? Like how will this building continue? Which I think a lot of Lego sets, because they only have four or six starts, um, they fail very often, in my pers at least for me personally. And I think this one here has exactly the right amount of richness um, to have something amazing to look into, but also something that like lets your you know your imagination um, go and and you think about okay how would this go on and. I think that is that is an amazing thing, amazing design. And then there's another one. Actually, I've never really I've watched. I think on the first series of Breaking Bad, so I don't really know how accurate this thing is. But it does look great. Brick Pimp has done the meth lab from Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, three thousand seventy one pieces, as uh, asking for thirteen euros. And yeah, I mean, okay, it's a meth lab. I guess you need to be a Breaking Brick fan uh, to uh, to really enjoy this thing, but. I think it's very well done by the design. Um, I mean, you could, I mean, if nobody, if you're not telling anyone that this is a meth lab, you could use it in all kinds of scenarios, right? Could be any kind of factory or modern laboratory. Could even, you know, some be something science science fiction like. So I done. I think it's a very well done design. And even if you don't like the red flooring, uh, you could replace it, the color with something else. Pretty awesome stuff. All right, these were the mocks of the week. So one I picked a bit more than usually. Um, so what I did skip actually is um, the typical um, ideas entries I talk about that met the 10,000 supporters. So what we're doing instead this week, in addition to talking about Rebrickable, uh, designs. We are talking about the winner announcement 550 years of Dungeons and Dragons. And ta da da, it's the journey's end, Dragon's Keep uh, by Bold Builds. 
and I think it it has been it has been my personal favorite as well. I think it's a very well designed um, entry, and I do hope that Lego will you know do this thing justice and do something in similar size. I think it is for so many ways. First of all, I do like the building techniques. They could they are a bit simplistic sometimes. Could have a bit more detail for my ties. If you look at the roofs, etc., they have like more the traditional castle vibe to a certain degree. However, there is everything in there that you need, right? You have a dragon, you have a wizard's tower, you have a bit of a castle, you have a bit of a tavern. So all the typical areas of a Dungeons and Dragons campaign is is in there, and I think that is very well done. And I do really hope that Lego will do the entire topic justice, do a big set, large set, lots of minifigures, of course. I mean, that is what I'm most excited about. I want to have a new modern interpretation of a wizard and a rogue and a bard and, and all this kind of stuff. And um, I think also that it, I hope that it will have a strong Dungeons and Dragons vibe and not so much Lego castle. Um, so what I'm trying to say is not too many colors. I don't want you know, I want to have a reasonable amount of coloring, um, but um, I, I'm also really looking forward to see um, an 18 plus ideas interpretation of a dragon, right? Lego can do, I think the Lego team has done amazing dragon designs, but usually, right, it's in Yago dragons and stuff like that. That's, that's child toys, but seeing in a modern 18 plus interpretation of that beast um, could be great like this one here but I'm really looking forward to see what what the Lego team can do so I think great choice by the Lego ideas team obviously we have to wait until beginning of next year I think where actually um, the 50 years of Dungeons and Dragons will take place so I guess it's like 12 months in the future but I do hope that yeah like i said i mean fingers crossed i'm a big fan of dungeons and dragons big fan of lego so this is match made heaven i actually would also love speaking of such uh lego doing something with warhammer but i guess they never will <laughs> i guess games workshop sees lego more as a competition not a, as a partner plus it doesn't really fit the lego brand but dungeons and dragons is the next next good thing so Anyhow, uh, I hope you like the show. For those of you who watch this on YouTube, please leave a like or comment or even better subscribe to the channel. For you podcast listeners, please leave a review, comment or like on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or wherever you listen to the show. Thanks for listening. See you next week.